The world we live in is not what we think it is. This is a given. Our world, and indeed all worlds on the physical level, are but a tiny part of creation. And although seeming vast, it is but a fraction of the whole. For yes, there are the four other life levels, and these are far larger in scale, each level significantly bigger than the prior one. And the purpose of creation being as a simulator, a training ground to afford experiences. The experiences we manifest for ourselves, due to decisions, choices that we make, thoughts, emotions, goals and focus. All these are ideas that we create. We become our own architects of causality. An effect will follow the causes, and these then are the experiences we bring into our lives. The cause and effect engine that generates life experiences based on whatever ideas we create and project. The nature of the experiences less important than the viewpoints they provide. An endless unlimited possibility of experience for comparison that eventually leads to the recognition of our awareness and real selves, and that of the ears. So yes, anything is possible in creation. It is a reflective bubble, providing us with anything we want, based on the cause and effect nature of it, and the experiences, therefore, that lead us inexorably to whatever goal we seek, or that we have focus upon. Naturally, this can have us somewhat lost in creation, as not only are we dealing with our own creations, but that of others. And agreement to any idea, anything that is created, for everything in creation stemmed from an idea initially, will set up again this cause and effect chain reaction of experience. We are effectively then basing much of our experiences on the agreed upon ideas of others. It can be said then and the more we do this, the more we are living lives decided by other individuals. This is of course a choice and decision, but it is quite apparent that the ideas created by a very few are predominantly agreed to by the vast majority and so the overall collective cause and effect human experience will be of a nature and design in accordance with whatever the agenda, focus or goal may be of those very few presenting their ideas. Unfortunately, those that we term the world controllers have decided to destroy this planet and bring about systems and technologies that will result in the demise of the planet, its destruction and the death of the species. And so the ideas they are creating 
are in keeping with this objective, and everything on the planet is geared to this end, and they have successfully secured the agreement of most of the population to these ideas of demise. Therefore it is so, mass, cause and effect, bringing us collectively experience of decline and devastation to the goal, the idea that these engineers of death have created. From this model it is apparent that if the controllers represent so few in numbers, comparatively speaking with the population they enslave and now wish to kill, then it is only through the majority that they can bring about what they seek. They require our agreement. Everything in creation is based on agreement. Without the consent and the corresponding cause and effect that follows from the masses, nothing can be manifested as an actuality. In a sense, we are not living our own lives if we are in constant agreement with the creational ideas of others. We are forging the world experience that others wish to make real. Of course, any experience can be valuable for our viewpoints and objective comparison, for better recognition of our real awareness and the all is beyond the creational simulator. But nevertheless, creation and this planet did not have to be as it is. It could have been a far different experience. Much of the agreement is gleaned through cunning marketing ploy and fronts. The engine of destruction that is the created idea of planetary destruction is cleverly disguised behind a facade of endless phenomena that appear on the surface beneficial. All systems of business, commerce, technology, religions and anything else currently operating plays a part to this end. On the surface it appears to serve a beneficial function, but all of it stems from ideas that are contributing to the planet's demise. Technology being fairly apparent, scratch the surface and we see it as the distortion that it is. The lethal qualities of the disharmonious cell phone microwaves, the harp systems that are causing wide world disasters, the ionizing and depletion of the atmosphere, the burning of the forests through directed energy weapons, the chemical spraying and pollution of oceans with radiation through supposed nuclear accidents. The business systems of the world, with all the jobs that stem from them, another devastation for the planet, the extensive waste produced, and overuse of resources to an unnecessary degree, plundering and raping the planet and the all-natural environment that supports us and then the various religious systems and phenomena entertainments that maintain our focus, keep us suppressed 
and ensure that we remain fixated on creation only, that we are less inclined to look beyond that which creation is. The majority of individuals locked then into their personal selves only, disconnected from their real selves and awareness, and in doing so we can say that they are unconscious, oblivious of how creation works, the mechanism by which collective experience through cause and effect, and agreement on mass to ideas, shapes their lives, and oblivious of the ears, and the real universes beyond this simulation, the simulation that is designed for the recognition of this true reality and so they are asleep at the wheel, they are the unconscious ones, the slaves, who are steered to bring about their own demise, and that of the planet they are on, into future unconscious lifetimes of a far more severe nature, robotization, and ultimately implosion of the very creational simulator they are in. The programming is extensive, indoctrination through the schooling systems, reinforcement via the television and mainstream media outlets, subliminally ensuring complicit agreement a constant influx into the subconscious, the ethereal vehicle, all designed to elicit agreement, consciously, unconsciously, and subliminally programmed subconsciously, to the systems in place, that stem from the ideas created by the very few. They are the world engineers, but we are the engine that brings forth the world they desire. And not only is this world one of a steady demise, but due to the restriction of awareness, and that everything equals itself, the creational matrix simulator grows darker and will ultimately implode. The final result of the restriction and retraction of awareness. From this model we can see, there is one answer to this situation, and that is awareness. Awareness is everything. Awareness will have an individual, connect to the real self, that is beyond creation, and with the ears. As awareness expands, we become no longer the unconscious effects of ideas we have always agreed to. We bypass the ability of the controllers to program us, as our real self supersedes the creation and the ethereal life level where the subconscious programming takes place.